Hey guys, uh, it is a beautiful day here in Clement, North Carolina, and um, I was out here um, looking at some space that I have. We have a, you notice there's a bare space here. We used to have some landscape and fabric here. We just took down a greenhouse and a little area that we had kept some plants. And so I'm gonna convert this area into some grapevine and blackberry trellises. And so today I thought I'd do a quick video to show you how you can construct what we call a V trellis blackberry uh, system. There's many different ways that you can do it, um, but uh, I think that this is a, a simple but effective way uh, that you can uh, put up a trellis for your blackberries and keep them neat, uh, have a little bit of support for them. And so uh, I'm going to kind of go through those steps of how you can do this at your home. There's only a couple of things that you're going to need. One, you're going to need a, uh, a fence post. Uh, I went ahead and got an eight foot. I'm going to go ahead and put it down about uh, two and a half, three feet. And, um, and this is what's going to be there at the ends. And so the first thing you need to do is determine like how long you want it to be and just kind of line up the fence posts uh, the way that you uh, want them to do. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you what uh, I have when we get done. All right, I got my two end posts in the ground. And uh, you can do whichever distance you want. I chose to do mine 50 feet. Um, and these are going to be the, the thing that I'm going to attach my wire to. Uh, I just put a little string here in the middle of this post all the way down to that post. Because here in a second we're going to put our T-post here in, a, in an angle. And I want to know where the middle is going to be. So I'm going to use that line as my reference point. Alright, now this is where the V of the V trellis comes in. Uh, I'm going to come about three or four feet away from this post and I'm going to take these two T-posts and I'm going to space them at the bottom about a foot and a half apart and then I want the tops when I'm done to be about three and a half feet apart. Okay, well, so when I'm driving them in this way, this makes the, the V shape. Okay, and so um, this is what's going to be used to separate the wire from the post and uh, give us the, the width of the wire that we're going to need to support the uh, um, blackberries. Okay? So I'm just going to stop this thing and drive these posts. Um, most of the things I've read, this is about a 30 degree angle that they're going to go in. It doesn't have to be exact to the inch, but it, as long as it's close to three and a half feet here and a foot and a half at the bottom, I uh, will be pretty good. All right, I got my T-posts driven in the wedge pattern. This down here at the bottom again is like a foot and a half. This is almost a 30 degree angle. And this is almost three and a half uh, feet across from top to top. And you can see I did one on the other side just like I did here. But also you'll notice I did one in the middle. So I just went to the middle um, and uh, wanted to have another uh, couple of posts to support that wire. And so um, I just wanted you to uh, be able to see kind of the full view from one end to the other um, what the uh, V shape this is I guess the name V trellis and the shape that it looks like now that we got our end posts we got our T posts here in the V pattern that we want uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, drill some bars into the ground that's going to hold our uh, wire some people I've seen in, in different designs they just take the wire and go straight to the post but it can have a tendency of pulling the post. And so to take some of that pressure off, uh, you can get this bar at uh, your home garden store. It's, uh, it's about three foot long and it already comes with pre-drilled holes. And what I'm gonna do is go behind this pole, uh, this end post, uh, four feet, and I'm gonna drive it into a, like a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna leave about eight or 10 inches and leave these holes and that's what I'm gonna run my wire through. But this here will be what holds the wire and keeps the tension on it instead of the post. All right, so there's my end post. And like I said, I went back four feet. You can see I drove this uh, rod into the ground uh, at a 45, or around a 45 degree angle. And I left about 10 inches or so sticking out. And what I'm gonna do, I don't know if you can see it because of the shadow, but there's a little hole right here and up here that I'm going to use to run my wire through and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, we got a little bar uh, driven in the ground. It's four feet from our end post. I'm going to do that for both sides. And one thing that 
I wanted to show you too is I measured from the ground up and drove horseshoe staples uh, you know evenly um, 18 inches off the ground then I came up and made two more at 40 inches off the ground and what I'm going to do is feed the wire through here to loop around our um, rod back there and I'm going to have two lines one that's at 18 inches and one that is at 40 inches okay and again you do this the exact same for the uh, other end post as you do this one one thing you're going to have to add to the wire is this uh, wire strainer and um, you can get these at um, trap supply or places like that and um, but what it is is you can feed through this hole here where my finger is feed the wire through there and uh, just take this little wire clamp and uh, hold it here and then we'll feed the wire uh, from my left over here to this and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when I get done all right again all I did is I took my wire and I fed it through this loop on this strainer and uh, you can get these clamps and uh, this here is what holds this together and then I'm gonna feed the other wire through here and use this to uh, uh, tighten my wire and I'll show you how to do that all right so I'm just gonna walk us through what we have so far so here's the very end the little rod that we have you can see how the wire is fed through those holes that's pre-drilled into it we bring it up to our end post our first rows here are 18 inches off of the ground and so we have wires on both sides and they spread out here there's on each side of those V's that we made with our T posts and we just walk it down now halfway down where I had those other T posts I put the wire on the inside and that way when the when the vines are laying on it and push out this way it has something else to push out against it and so I did that on the other side as well so the halfway point the wires go on the inside and then we just walk around to the other end and the other side the end post is exactly the same uh, 18 inches off the ground comes out and attaches to that end rod now what we're going to do is the exact same thing except we're going to go on up the 40 inches all right i've done the exact same thing for the the top row of wire um, i fed it through my rod that's in the ground came through the staples here on the end post that are 40 inches off the ground came around both of these first set of uh, t-posts again come on the inside of the middle ones and then come out my wire then i have my uh, strainer here that i can use to tighten this and uh, you don't have to have it bowstring tight it's just going to be enough to help hold up some of the canes of the blackberries and so when i get down here to the end and you look down all the way through you can see why it's called the the v trellis so and then what i'm going to do is come through here and plant my blackberries right down the middle and uh, put me up a little drip system irrigation system and hope uh get some uh, good growth of them on this summer and then next year hope to get a few blackberries so appreciate you watching the video if you got any questions about anything you can put it down in the comment section and again this is not the only way to do it there's many different ways of doing it but for what i'm going to do my setup i thought this would uh, be helpful uh, for just a backyard trellis so have a great day thanks for watching